Okay, it's May 5, year 2009. I'm trying to fix this, uh, my old uh, vintage oscilloscope. There. And I found uh, the problem. Because the problem with the original problem with this, uh, the beam intensity is not so bright. So I found out that the, the voltage across this capacitor is very low. It's supposed to produce uh, at 1000 volts, but it's only producing about a uh, between 350 to 400 volts then I found out that the problem is these two electrolytic capacitor is defective it's because uh, you can see the there's a liquid uh, flowing out of the circuit maybe it's due to the old age so when I measure this uh, capacitor it's a uh, open circuit the two capacitor the this is uh, the voltage doubler okay it's increased the the voltage from 500 volts into 1000 volts okay so i i hope i'll just replace this uh, new uh two capacitor and it will back to original condition okay luckily i was able to get the the schematic diagram from the internet so these are the two capacitor they are the voltage doubler capacitor okay I, all i need to do is to replace it Okay, I love this uh, old electronics. It's uh, repairable, unlike the new, unlike the new electronics. Uh, when it's uh, defective, it's throw it away. You cannot repair it. Uh, let me show you my uh, new oscilloscope. There, very small uh, new oscilloscope. Okay, it's a picoscope. Just plug into uh, any uh, computer, then you can turn any uh, PC into oscilloscope. Okay. The problem with this is it has a very uh, low input voltage. Its maximum operating voltage is only uh, 20 volts. Anyway, most circuit, uh, most digital circuit cannot work more than 20 volts. Okay. I uh, like this one. Uh, it's very small with a very small laptop computer then you you always have your uh, oscilloscope with you okay so i guess if there's something wrong with it you just throw it away because uh, there's nothing uh, serviceable inside inside it's just a uh, basic uh, simple uh, chips okay but i guess it's very seldom to uh uh, uh defect uh, to see uh defective because uh it's working on a very low voltage and also this uh this is my higher and more expensive oscilloscope, the Pico Z. The Pico, uh, this is a 12 megahertz, uh, 50 megahertz dual trace oscilloscope. Okay. One nice thing about this one, it works from uh, eight, from DOS system to Windows 98, even XP. Okay. It's using a parallel interface and it goes to your any uh, printer port there's a new upgrade then this one you can convert this oscilloscope into a USB just buy this adapter to convert a parallel interface into USB okay okay let me show you my other oscilloscope uh, okay wait up uh, I guess it's in here You, you get to see my world's smallest uh, oscilloscope. <laughs> there! This is the world's smallest oscilloscope from Radio Shack. Okay, it's called a probe style oscilloscope or called a uh, probe scope. It's made in Germany. I bought it in the state. Maybe in some, this is about uh, year 19. Uh, let me show you okay there mm -hmm. okay very small let's try to make it work oh, so I'll show you uh, how how it looked like okay turn on the power supply here yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, it's the school oscilloscope work from 9 volts to uh to 12 volts. Okay. So there. I'm going to plug it uh here. Mm-hmm. There. Ha ha ha. See? Probscope. Okay. This is uh, made in uh, Germany. Okay. Nice. Very small. See? Radio shocks. Arranged from 1 volts to uh, 1 volts, 10 volts, and 100 volts. Okay. There's a serial line. You can attach this to a PC. Okay, scope. There, version 3, 1995. Okay, it's more than how old? More than 10 years? 14 years ago. 14 years old. Okay. Then, okay, that's a signal. Okay, let's go to switch it to a 1 volt per volt. Let's see, uh, let's measure the noise. Mm -hmm. 1 volt. AC. There, and let's change the time base to uh, one millisecond. Ten fifty point one. Okay. Auto backlit on function scope. Maybe ten volts. Too fast. So let's change the time base to one millisecond. <laughs> I'm picking up signal from my hand. It's a 60 hertz uh, hum. Okay. Nice, isn't it? You can even uh, it can also work as a digital voltmeter. But there we can yeah. then we can change it to digital voltmeter DMA okay see 3.4 volts there I can hold it by just holding it 3.4 okay so over 3.4 there 3 volts 3 volts And you can select a uh, time. Okay. And AC DC can be selected here, there. AC, then brown. DC is 0.5 there. Hold it, 0.5 volts. Okay, this is uh, a Radio Shock probe scope. It's made in uh, where's that? I know it's made in West uh, Germany. Okay, that's about it. There's, there's nothing beat the old vintage cathode ray uh, oscilloscope. <laughs> the very common problem with this uh, old vintage uh, equipment is the the capacitor because uh, there's an electrolyte inside so there's tendency to dry up or leak out okay so i uh, just need to buy this uh capacitor and hope it back to original condition okay that's about it